Hello and salutations, it's me, Salty, welcome back to Two Cents Toys, and welcome to my second feature in Iconicon 2021. I'm doing a customization of this uh, Predator I picked up from Walmart, that did a review on this a few months ago at this point. Now, I know that Iconicon is all about 80s pop culture, and this is based off the Predator 2 Predator, which came out in 1990, so technically it's not in 1980s, but since, you know, it was in production in the 1980s, I'll allow it. I don't have so much of a, a plan to have ideas for it, but I don't really have so much of a plan on what I'm going to do. That's why there's so much crap here. I just have a bunch of different paints, paint pens, paint brushes. Uh, I know I'm going to do a wash on it. That's why there's a bowl of water. And I'm going to do some uh, some battle damage. That's why there's neon green paint. That'll be my new little how-to in this video because you've seen me do washes and paints and stuff like that before. Uh, ideally, I'm just going to put a wash on pretty much the whole body I'm gonna paint uh, the fishnet wherever it's present, and I'll probably do some like damages and all that, like maybe take some chips out of the armor or something. So just gonna have some fun with it, and uh, here we go. All right, so one of the first things I wanna do is I wanna give him some damage. Like, I know he's got like a few dings and scuffs like here on the helmet and the like, but I really wanna give him some more, and this is not something I would entirely recommend doing. I'm sure there's a much easier way to do it, but this is how I'm going to do it. A friend of mine uh, forged a knife for me. It's the sharpest one that I own. It's sharper than any Zacto that I have, so I'm going to be kind of taking some gouges in his armor, maybe giving him some claw marks on his helmet and all that, or his face mask, I should say. Unless you're really confident uh, using a knife or something like that to do this step, I would recommend skipping it, but that's what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to pop the head and the legs off, because uh, I'm going to be mostly doing damage to the kind of armor bits. And I feel like it would be easier to maneuver and manipulate if they're independent of the main torso here. So, I got some divots and scratches. You know, I just basically took the tip of the knife, stabbed it, and twisted it a little bit. Go over a different technique for that here in a second. Some scratches on the knee pads, some gouges there on the greaves. I took a little chip out of that one. A couple scratches on the chest, some on the pauldron there. You know, just a little bit of variety. But before I show you the technique that I'm going to do for this video, I'm going to do the wash, all that kind of stuff. You know, get the fishnets painted up and all that. and you know, do the technique last. As always, I find that using a kind of a big brush, because it's a wash, so we're not doing detail right now, that you know, this will cover the most surface area.
we've got the wash and you can see where the damage showed up that's exactly what i was hoping to get there's kind of like deep gashes there so the wash is done now i'm going to start doing the detail so i'm going to start hand painting all these fishnets here thank god this is a time lapse video because uh i don't think anyone has the patience to watch me uh do that in real time so i'm going to put some silver dry brushing on this little thing here on his leg i, I had originally planned on doing silver dry brushing on all of his armor but I kind of like the way that it looks like that, so I'm just going to start painting. Here we go.
went ahead and started painting that so I think I matched the colors pretty well there and I went ahead and painted the little flaps there on his uh, loincloth for the lack of a better word doesn't really show up so well but again I think I matched the color of the armor there pretty dang well I did that here by mixing just generic gray with some silver painters pen and just a few little dabs of black so that's how I was able to kind of match the colors there in case you're curious all I'm really going to do now is add some brown to the feet you know maybe a little bit of red here and there and then we're going to jump into uh, kind of the, the new thing that I'm going to try out. attempt to do now is add some battle damage that's what that neon paint's been for this whole time you're gonna need a nail and a lighter and some pliers because basically what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be heating up this nail you can see I already did it off camera and you're gonna be taking the nail and kind of pushing it through wherever to make little bullet holes that's what the neon paints for is for a little bit of blood now it's a small nail because I don't want gigantic holes and it heats up the whole nail and my fingers will tell you just as much so that's what the pliers are for there's a good chance to burn yourself doing this so please please don't do this unless you are comfortable with the idea of that potentially happening if you're under the age of 18 don't do it at all you're going to heat the nail get it nice and hot and we're going to add holes here so you can see how the holes are about the right size and just repeat as you see fit to give him more wounds i'm gonna give him like four and probably call it quits on that
And now I'm just gonna kind of add the green into these holes here, which I probably give a couple fatal shots, but you know, that is what it is, I suppose. So it helps to have these tiny little detail brushes to kind of get into these little holes here. That's where the added benefits of that nail is it kind of expands the plastic a little bit. So that way you don't lose the holes, like how we did this big wash on it here. It kind of turns it inside out a little bit. So the yellow plastic that isn't painted kind of comes out so you don't lose the holes after you make them. Give them a little bit of runny. Not a whole bunch, just, just a little bit. And you want it to kind of make sense a little bit like how I have it hit here on the fishnets and it kind of splits at the end of the fishnets. So you don't just want to go slack and just kind of make big brush strokes down it because otherwise it doesn't look real, I guess for the lack of a better word. I'm going to heat up the nail again and kind of add a couple little you know, punctures here on the armor where it's been deflected, and then that should be the end of it. But I'm going to do that off camera. And that's really all I got for today. Uh, I think it turned out great. You know, I, I really love how it looks, you know, especially compared to uh, how it came, which I'll put right here next to it. So, you know, maybe I went a little heavy on the wash because you can't really see much of the yellow anymore. But I think that this kind of uh, pasty or pastel or whatever you want to call it, chalky yellow or whatever, I think it's a little more accurate than that, you know, mustard orange or whatever that color is, I don't know, but I'm really happy with it, I am, you know, the gouges turned out great on the armor, I think, and I don't know, I'm, I'm just really happy with it, but you let me know what you think down below, is there anything that you wouldn't have done, anything you would have added, anything, you know, you would have taken away, anything like that, so, and let me know if you're going to try it as well, again, Please don't use the, the knife or the, the burning uh, nail technique unless you're absolutely comfortable with it. Or if you're under the age of 18 or whatever, do not do it. Just period. Don't do it. Always be safe when you're trying things like that. You know, it's I, I consider myself an amateur when it comes to customizing. And, you know, I sometimes I overreach my bounds a little bit. So I was able to do all this successfully on the first run. So anyway... If it's your first time on the channel and you like what you saw today, then all that asks is that you click like on the video and subscribe to the channel. It's a great way to help me out. I very much appreciate it when you do. And please check out everyone else that's involved in Iconicon this month. It's it's great. It's really, it's. I'm humbled and flattered to even be a part of it. I do thank you for stopping by and spending some time with me today. And until next time, I'm Salty, signing off.